Yeah, this is exactly the problem. This is a total gavillion now here and we need to clean this all up and make this nice and beautiful and workable. Look at this shit. Mm, my wife told me yesterday my t-shirt was dirty and I did the whole video on this shirt so apologies for that. But this is my work t-shirt, you know, when I work in the off-grid garage sometimes. Well, this is not a fashion channel here and I'm not making these videos to look good. So, who cares? We are here to get shit done. Welcome back to the off-grid garage here in sunny, hot Australia. Yeah, it is kind of, kind of nice weather. Look at this, beautiful. Some clouds, of course, but we are not doing any solar testing, so I don't care too much. This situation makes the solar charge controller work really hard. Quick look, one kilowatt from the west roof, 140 watt from the pool, and we are charging with seven amps, got some load running, pool pump is running and some DC loads as well. Well, speaking of working hard, today we need to clean up this mess here. This is really, <laughs> really, the electrician was standing here on this ladder and looking at this and staring at it and thinking about it and said, how can I make this all work? So this is, this is our east roof where no solar panels are connected at the moment. This is our east roof combiner box. So there will be five 16 amp breakers in here, double DC breakers. And from there, the 16 mil cable goes then to our isolator box down here before it goes to our solar charge controller there, this one. But the main problem is not the, the um, combiner box here. The main problem is this giveaway up here. See, this is where all the solar cables come in now and go into the isolator box down here, which is fine. You know, there's enough space in the duct and everything and perfectly fine. But this shit, this situation up here is just it's not working anymore. It was working with one roof, but now we've got two roofs connected. This is the this is the carport. Yeah, this is this is the carport incoming solar cable from the combiner box already. This is my uh, west roof. Is it? Yeah, this is my west roof cable coming in. And you can see the east roof cable here goes just in this slotted duct down here in the combiner box. So we've got three cables coming in and you know we've got a fourth one coming in through our mice tunnel here. They are from the other side of the world. Yeah, well, if you didn't know, this, this tunnel goes straight through the whole earth to the other side of the world. Sometimes you can see the light on the other side. There. Look at this. Light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, so first of all, we want to clean up this situation here a bit. This is the old incoming solar cables we had from parts of the east roof here. This is one cable going all the way in the ceiling here. There must be somewhere here where the Jägermeister bottles are going through the roof. So we will completely remove this one, pull it out, get rid of it, make some space in this area. And then with these cables here going just out of this box here, in a bend coming down again in the same duct. I don't know what the purpose of this design was. I think I wanted to, wanted to feed everything from the top here, but this is taking up too much space now. So what I thought is drilling directly a hole from between the combiner box and the cable duct somewhere in this area and then feed the cables directly into the, into the duct. So we are not we are not leaving the box somewhere and then coming back in the in the duct anyway. Bullshit design. And this is another incoming cable. This was the first one we drilled actually here somewhere. So we will remove this completely as well, getting rid of this cable that cleans up the whole top area of this box here already. And there should be only one cable coming in. These ones, these ones. They're already prepared. This is this pipe there bit of conduit and then it goes out on the roof and this is the whole these are all the five strings coming in now from the east roof so all these five strings here they, they will go into this combiner box here and then connect to the breakers okay this is a lot of removing first and then we have to take care of these cables because they they won't fit into this into this um, duct here anymore and as I said, there will be a third one from the mice tunnel. We need to have them organized somehow so it, all the cables going neat and tidy into this duct here. This is unbearable. I really 
like this um, leather secure clamp they had here. They'll probably get one of these. So the leather doesn't wiggle around that much anymore. Good morning, east roof. Yeah, here it is. That's the one. So if you can, are they sealed it already with silicon? Push some silicon in. It's under the panel anyway, so we probably can leave this one as it is and just cut it um, in the garage. And the second one, it has a condom. <laughs> nice. So if I cut this silicon here, now if I cut the whole pipe like this, I should be able to pull it back and then we seal this one here again. Ah, oh, there's a piece of aluminium. That should be fine. Just don't forget to seal it. Got it. And, and the other one, I remember we poked a hole here in this. Ah, oh, there it is already. I can see it. Let's see if we can grab it and... Oh, yeah, it's already gone. Pull it out. There it goes. Easy, easy. <laughs> it is so easy today. <laughs> you don't even need to watch it. So that looks much better up here now. I've pulled these two cables out and now we need to make a decision. I think I drill a hole down here somewhere between the uh, combiner box and the duct and then go with the cables just straight up into the bus bars. The other one goes along to this side and then straight up. So better get these cables out of the way and push them as far down as possible and just go up. I'm, I'm just sharing my thoughts here again, so. Yeah, I kept, I kept this old house of a vacuum cleaner and I cut off the part where it actually connects to the vacuum. And this one fits perfectly into the normal, the normal part of my... And this then extends the hose to like three meters or so. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. And then I've got a third one as well. Look at this. And then you've got this really, really long vacuum hose, like five meters, five meters. Yeah. And, and I also kept all the tubes here, all the pipes as well, because they fit into each other. And you, you can get this, then you, you can get this really, really long pipe if you need to reach this five meter away point and vacuum something off. You can just stick them into each other and... It's just one of Andy's life hacks. So don't throw away old vacuum hoses. They are super, super useful. Even, even there's no solar connected, nothing. Uh, you always want to check if there's any voltage on these cables here. Reverse current from the solar charge controller or something like this. Everything is turned off, but still check. Always check. Check twice. Oh, here it is. Here, check twice, three times. Doesn't matter, but check. And back to the bus bar. So what do I do with this excess cable now? But just leave it in here and put a loop in here. Or is this going to be a problem further down the track? I'm not sure yet. Because all the cables, hey, down here, we're talking about this area here. All the cables are coming from the top and going into this duct. And there's nothing between here and here. So potentially I can just leave them in there as a little loop. So just in case we need to rearrange something or whatever. I've got a bit of slack in the cable. Yeah, I'll just leave it there for the moment. Should be fine. Do you need ferrules for these terminals here? Absolutely, yes. You can see the dents there from the screws because, yeah, these screws here, you know, these, these screws, they are coming down onto the cable straight. There's no clamp mechanism or something in these terminals. It's just the screw going down. So absolutely a must to use ferrules for these terminals. So, and now there's this problem up here. How do we get all these cables, oh, all these cables here into this duct? That is the main problem. And there will be a third one of the 32 mil conduits. 
Yeah, I thought about a little plate or something similar to the aluminium sheet here and then having an angle, like an angle bracket and, and using these glands then. But then we've got the cable exposed coming out of these glands until they go back in the duct. I would need to build a little box or something around it. And then I had this idea. So my friends, <laughs> this is my solution I came up with. I just extended the cable duct and uh, drilled a couple of holes in here for these glands. And now we can connect these, um, this conduit here nicely to these glands and we've got a seamless connection and protection of the cables now going into this duct here. I only have two of them in stock so hopefully the electrician has one now of course of course they have one so the only problem is now we have to disconnect all these cables from our isolator um i'm not going to do this right now because i can do one but not both because we are still charging from the west roof oh shit i have forgotten about the network cable the network cable ah uh, there's always something huh So, that looks nice. So I've got the one connection in for the carport and now I would have to turn off the... Um... Let's do it now. Andy, you cannot pull these fuses under load. Yes, you can. Let me turn off this one so we don't get reverse power. Just something like reverse power from the solar charge controller, I don't think so. What does it say? Nothing. Millivolts. Four millivolts. Okay, we are safe. So they go underneath and then back in the breaker down here, down here, got it. And that's basically it. Okay, so number five, now we've got 85 volt, 88 volt. 160, 170, 185, 190, 200 watts, 200 watts. Next string, 450. Next string, 700. Next one, 1000. And the last one, 1 1.5. Do we get 1.5? 1.4 So once this is all ready, I'll put a cover or something on top of this uh, beam up here to hide all the conduits uh, I'm not sure what to do yet, but yeah, I'll figure it out then So they all go straight now into the duct with these glands and then go down 
and connect to our isolators here. That looks a lot better. And this one goes up here and into our mice tunnel to the other side of the world where the light is. And then we, um, yeah. Let's wait and see until this is all done and then we figure something out. Okay, nice. And then the, and then the other long one goes all the way up here in theory. So hopefully there's no gap. <laughs> I measured three times. <laughs> okay guys, I think so far this video from this afternoon and in the next video we will do something completely different, completely different to all these installation stuff, solar, battery, breaker, cable, duct, conduit situation, something completely different. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your amazing support. Great to have you all here on the channel. And until the next video guys, you stay charged, stay safe. And thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye bye.